Today, I want to do something really special. A few players on my Minecraft server lost everything from a glitch, and I want to give them something back. So the past few hours, we've been building this giant cave system here. This is going to be a mega base for one of the players to live inside of. And I got this vision where we start building them like homes on side of the wall right here. The first base has already been built by me, but I can't fill this whole entire thing out by myself because this is a massive cave. So before we go make their day, I brought in my entire Minecraft build team. These are professional builders, some of the best in the world. This is our first cave base, and I think it came out pretty well. A little more detail up top could be maybe just a little bit of design like this, and then flatten the roof off with some good old spruce wood here. Also, I don't, I don't know if it's like a good idea, to be honest with you, to have a chimney in a roof like this, but uh, I am here for it. But I think you put this down and then trap doors around it, and then it actually smokes and makes a legit chimney. Why do I feel like that looks so decent on the side of the wall right there? Let's check on what my pro builders are doing. What do you guys think of what I made? That's kind of good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's pretty good. I like the <laughs> chimney. I think it came out pretty nice. We need a little cobblestone, I think, to pull it together, really. Look at it, the detail. Then you guys pop in with the blue flower pot. All right, we're going for that blue vibe. Boom, get a little highlight piece. Take an item frame out. Y'all ready for this? And this is a little pro tip. Put that flower in the frame right there, all right? Boom. Oh, look at the floor here, guys. It's got that blue goo type feel to it. A little bit of blue goo. I don't know how else to describe this to you. It's just blue and it has a goo vibe. That's blue goo. I like this design so much that I think I'm going to try to create a dangly bridge that leads all the way to the other side. I'm a little bit worried about this. This is kind of a bold decision here. But I think something like this. We going to get the little fence look and we're going to bring the fence out and then you've got this nice little exotic bridge right here kind of like a little rope bridge i don't know if it's going to look good it really does kind of cut the whole building in half i'm, I'm a little bit worried about what my builders are going to say when they see it but at the end of the day man you got to follow your heart follow your dreams guys you can't give up on them my heart is saying zach you need to build a rope bridge i mean it looks like a bridge and then the thought i have is it leads to another base over here which is more of like a cobblestone stone base like built into this pillar my builders are looking at me i know guys it's not there yet but just give me a second all right it'll be there so what do you think it, it walks you onto this little stone platform here. Why not something like this, huh? Little, uh, well, okay, that's weird. Maybe just the blue? No. No, no. It's dripping the blue goo into this blue goo lagoon. That's interesting. All right, I don't know what the blue goo is yet, but it's dripping it. It's like two giant venom things from like a snake dripping out venom. That's interesting. Let's see what the builders think. Hey, builders, look at this little drippy thing I made here. Why is it dripping? Well, the yeah. water's got to come from somewhere, so it's coming from here. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Obviously, it's my day today. I'm kind of feeling it. Obviously. I'm seeing like a snake here, like an ancient civilization came in here and they said, yo, you know what's pretty sick? Those little snakes. And they're like, sure. He's like, we should build a big one. Like, not rocks more, but snakes. I don't really know how to build a snake is, a, is really an issue. You can definitely put the eyeballs on. It's got definitely a snake vibe. What's the bottom of a snake mouth look like? I don't even know. And, and frankly, you can't even, like, walk through it now. So it's like a little bit of a uh, disappointment in terms of the functionality. Unless we extend this out. Could be a little walkway or something that comes on over. And then you don't you don't have to worry about it anymore, you know? Honestly, it's kind of good. Like, it's kind of... Okay, it's not. It really doesn't look like a snake, to be honest. The snake tail has now become the staircase down to the ground. So look at that. You walk forward. Kind of got to take a little bit of a sharp turn here a little bit more than i'd like to see so let's extend it out one more just like that there we go that looks a little bit more appetizing let's get this thing going downstairs right now oh yeah look at that blends right into the snake body so now at this point you're walking into a snake with a hollow body and this becomes like some kind of a secondary base or i was thinking maybe it becomes a staircase like we don't really have a way to get up there yet this is kind of like a pretty clean design for like a fancy staircase and then you've got this like really harsh cliff right here which i'm in love with i don't want to destroy it but i need a way to get up get a little vine action down there guys don't be afraid to bring the vines out all right don't let it scare you do you like my snake though Yo, Zach, we love your snake. It's amazing. Over here, we have a red tunnel. It leads to more tunnels. Interesting. Ooh, look at these. A little bit of a magic flower thing. I got another vision. First off, nice pig butt right there. But more importantly, we have this beautiful room. What do we need in here down here? Nothing. We need something up here. And it's a giant chandelier right in the center of the pool. <gasps> we could do an upside down mushroom and make it a chandelier, like a shanda mushroom, a mushelier. Let's give it a little bit of depth here. Something like that. Oh, this is going to be iconic, man. Kind of a thick boy, isn't it? The difficult part will be making the mushroom top part. I really know how you do that. Um, maybe it's like a little bit thicker. Yeah, okay. This is probably gonna look okay, maybe. I don't know. It might not. Why is it uneven? What, how in the world did I do this? What if we upgrade the mushroom gamers with a little bit of cyan glass up here like this? Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of clean. And then for a light, we'll do like a little bit of a sea lantern right in the center. And then boom, you got yourself freaking shanda mushroom right there. Let's do a little bit of slab action like so. Keep it organic. Keep it fun. Risk your life when you're on my walkway. We don't need a railing. Railings are for babies. There we go. Now we are cooking with some noodle slug grease, folks. Just squirt that right there on the screen and boom. And then I think we could do kind of like a chill zone in the corner, but like not super chill. Like I want this to be functional. So we got some furnaces there. I'm feeling like some barrels, like some functional storage, like something like this. Like you got to walk in, you got that like secret barrel storage, you know, you got like a little bookshelf action on each side. 
you ever seen those doors called fairy doors and they're like little holes in trees that, like people turn into full on houses that's kind of my vibe here like why not add like these little like secret nooks all over the side so you can like risk your life and then like walk in and be like oh all right, i got a couple chests here like this one we can put frames on it and then i'm not sure exactly what this what this would be for but it's like a little uh weapon storage zone here's the situation all right my particular build does not vibe with their build okay so here's my thought mine is the humans that have entered this region and they're trying to colonize where the fairies live and that's where these people are down here so maybe there's like a war going on what we're seeing here is like the ancient fountain of use of the fairies humans are obviously making their way to it trying to take it over and they're going to kill the fairies so that's kind of like my thought of what's happening right here you guys agree with that could they be friends in the end i think we want to see like a mass genocide of the fairies we want to see them come in and just take it over type so, you know no you don't like that no okay well we're gonna play with that idea we'll let it simmer maybe you guys need a minute to think about it how about now no okay we'll, we'll cross it off but if you guys like that concept i'm with you we'll play that out in our minds we now have a jail cell inside of our house guys and it's got a fairy locked up so how are they gonna tell me there's no fairy war with the humans when there's a fairy locked up right here we're gonna go down to the corner and turn one of their builds into a zone that stores a human you're gonna realize this war has already started and it's too late it's too late to stop it so i think we're gonna do one like right here like a prisoner literally in the wall right here it's gonna be a human this is getting a little bit out of control someone say this is that actually taking it too far but uh no we're gonna lock up a child couple more over here in the corner this just says warning don't open we're gonna wait for a hostage trade so they can switch out two of the baby toddlers which are going to be swapped out for this little fairy up here the last one we want to lock up is just fairy energy like i feel like that's the core of like who fairies are and so maybe what we could do is like just put like a little fairy energy like back here in the cave and just kind of like lock it up like that made a couple additions guys i think you'll like if you see them uh -huh. we got a little villager zone down here nice staircase comes on up let me just uh a little addition right here very nice build the villager zone looks fantastic what's that called when you uh stuff an animal taxidermy, taxidermy. okay so i'm gonna mute myself you guys won't like what i'm about to say this is the taxidermy toddler still alive what am i not liking? what are you not liking i, I don't know what you want to like this no one. You, you said you won't like and it disappeared sir no everything i made is like made in a way that i know you'd like it there's no war going on so uh-huh uh there's not don't look behind you by the way whatever you do don't look behind you Serena, look at this what do you think don't tell erickson what you like it i'm gonna kill you yeah that's right let's go let's have a little door right here this will be like a secret door all right this will be like the um little secret zone so the thought is we have like a baby like right here like prepared to ignite this bad boy and then we're going to like drop one and actually ignite it up so i hope the builders don't worry about this i think i should do some damage uh, i'm just gonna find out it's all part of the process part of the process Okay, so that's pretty good. So now you can see the toddler is in position, dropping the bomb right here on the fairy zone. I think I want to make this all this color. And then what we're going to do right here is add like a little chest room and, and like fill this up with TNT. This will be like the ammunition zone right here. There is a player that will be getting this base. He's going to be very, or she will be very confused by what they see. And then we'll have a couple more fairies just around it like this. But what if we do this? All right, they got one of the fairies. The fairies are here reconvening and that's one of their fallen comrades. I mean, that is a base and a half right here. Look at this. Oh, what's this base? Take it in. Don't forget to look up. Oh. Oh. You like it? Pretty good, huh? Zach, I'm not here trying to promote genocide things. No, no, no. It's just it's just a little war. It's just a little tiny battle. The mushrooms look good. The foliage looks good. I feel like we need more of these vines. The idea is like it's a forest of these, which I don't think really exists, but like just kind of having them like sprawling about makes it look just, I don't know, a little more real to me. The thing I don't like is like this big barren area like right here. Like maybe like a little tiny shop on the side of the road. Maybe that's what they do. We're gonna make a mushroom stall like this. So I wanted it to look like a mushroom. Uh, I don't know what exactly we did to make it look like that, because that's definitely not kind of what we were going for. Maybe something like that, and then we add like a little bit more of like a thick stem right here. It kind of see feels like there's a mushroom seeping over on the side. Not enough room on the top here for me. Oh, that's got a happy little vibe to it. I feel like it definitely added some value to the space. Okay, so we have this house here, which again, very bright, very colorful. I think it looks good, but it doesn't like match the vibe. Like this is like a beautiful fairy tale house. Like, look at these colors. This thing is like a sore thumb, man. It just doesn't fit. I'm gonna save the day here. That looks already better. Like just replacing this with like warp roots. Like that's the move. Look at that. It really did come together pretty well my vision is like we'll replace it all with like mushroom blocks and kind of make it look like some sort of like mushroom base here 
Fairies are using blue lanterns, right? They're fairies. They got to use that blue color. So maybe like a little something like that. Maybe that's what I need. Lanterns just bring it all together, guys. When your build's bad, pop a couple lanties on. Just giving it some life here, guys, with the old lanterns. Remember, you can never have too many. The way I set it up is that the fairies have these blue lanterns to signify their territory. The humans are using regular lanterns to signify their territory. Over here is kind of like a meeting point between the two. So I think it might be kind of interesting to have like a hole right here in the roof. Uh, Well, that was actually the front of the house. I don't know. I feel like some kind of like damage here. And then like one of our like actual human beings. So this one's actually called Mafia Steve, which is pretty, pretty interesting to be real honest with you. <laughs> Let's not use him actually. Uh, we'll just use another one of these bad boys. Like a mid fall TNT. He's put a little bit of damage down and that's why this base looks so bad. It's not because I'm a bad builder, particularly just because of the war that's happening here today. There's a lookout Steve here. I think we should add like a little bit of a wooden platform just to kind of like bring it together. Got a lookout Steve. You need like a little bit of a, a point blank location here just to kind of signify like, yo, this is our territory. We know it. We're good. We're safe. Don't worry about it. There we go. I think that was much needed. A little bit of a lookout point. So that actually looks pretty clean. I'll be honest. I think we could do the same thing here. I don't know. I just feel like more as like a territory thing. It gives it like more just uh, connection points. It kind of just makes it look a little bit cleaner. It just looks so cool if you had a bridge that goes all the way across. You've got this zone right here. Like this, sh this should belong to the Steves. This should belong to the Steve army right here more of like a uh, a weird looking bridge she gets the job done this steve is moving into battle over here he's preparing for war we're gonna open this section up right here he's kind of got like a tree zone a little aerial tree zone this is just like a nice clean steve pathway thoughts zach i do have one question for you though please explain human toddler sentence life oh yeah well they Not captured eat. one of the steves um, they captured two steves here as well in fact there's like nine cages throughout they're saving these oh. for the hostage trade the hostage is obviously up here in this main house uh-huh and if you look in here you can see where the hostage facility is um concern <laughs> perfect here is one of the steve's platforms here so they took over this room the interesting thing about it is that the steve's took it over and on the outside there's actually a guard here already from the fairies right here guarding it steve's took over the villager trading zone how they take it over is a question you're asking and i would say the most realistic answer is just sheer numbers they have sent most of their armada down here so it takes five steve's to kill one fairy you can see right here the battle that's taking place all five of these have captured that one fairy the fact that there's a baby steve in here doesn't really make sense they're coming in to break him out they're coming in as well with a fairy right here the steve's use string obviously this steve is now moving prisoner one over to free his own baby steve right here in the corners what if there was a an assassin fairy right here you literally don't even see her there blends into the wood boom pops out and gets you we'll put some trap doors in front of her so she's really blended in look at that that's a good spot you know what makes even more sense to be honest steves would have their own way of traveling through little miniature doors that's why i'm team steve they're like basically my size oh they're just traveling into this and then i think there should be a, a new location where they come out we're gonna make the steves come out of the wall right here <laughs> Here they come. They're coming out this way. This one just hopped down. And then we're going to put a little slime block down on the ground. The Steve's are going to fall on when they jump. So it's going to be like right here. So like that's like the arsenal of Steve's coming. Oh, it's so ridiculous. We've got the Steve army going through the Steve transportation system. That's the STS right there. And they're popping out of the STS down here, jumping down, preparing for battle. Now, guys, obviously there's a fairy queen. But there's also a baby Steve king. And I've got it in my hand right now, and we got to find the optimal location for him. I think what we want to do is take this little piece of wall right here and actually turn this into like the King Steve's like zone right here, like King Baby Steve. And the thing about it is the steps are so high, the babies can't make it up here. Just the king can, which is why obviously this is where the king lives. There's actually two kings. They're twins. You're probably wondering where all the baby Steves come from. They've got like literally hundreds of baby Steves. Well, they hatch these little babies and they come out looking like this. So that's actually a newborn adolescent baby Steve. The emergency king escape hatch. There we go, guys. So we got the emergency Steve escape hatch right here. You wouldn't think you could use it, but you can. You can crawl right out and you'll be away to freedom right there. We're going to kind of blend in a little bit more. And obviously, if the fairies make it up, king boy's got to get out. It has been over 72 hours since you last saw me. And these are the new additions we made. There's actually an entire history museum we have built in. Honestly, the amount of detail that came into this build is really off the charts. If we look below it, we actually built a lot of functionality, including a multi-layered farming system for these bad boys. Giant room down here. It really, honestly, whatever they want to use it for, it could be useful. Staircase down to the middle of the earth. Massive chest storage room. Look at the size of this thing. You literally, this is insane to me. And of course, an entire custom mountain integrated with the landscape, custom trees all around it. You've got this building on the outside, which is brand new. Now we've got to give this away to the player who won it. What's up, guys? How's it going? Wait, Loverfella, is that Loverfella? It's me, Orange and Prince. Did one of you guys want to win a base flip? Yes, 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 please, please. So Orange, this is your base. So guys, let's take a look at this guy's base here. It's not bad, but it's not a lot. I think he could use a massive base flip. Here it comes. Your base is coming. Dude, what is happening? Thank you, Loverfella. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And as always, join my server, play.loverfella.com for a chance to win a sick basis like this. Look here to watch another base flip.